St. Francis looking to start 3-0 at home for the first time since 1991. Ashley Chase and Loretta was Bryant came to town today. One red flash player stood out on the sidelines today. Team Impact player Brent Zierer of Johnstown, a 10-year-old dealing with an immune disorder. Living it up today, though, in the number 12. Brent says he loves Pittsburgh sports teams, even has a beta fish named Larry Fish Gerald. Love it. Red Flash hoping to channel some of Brent's enthusiasm down 21 10 to Bryant in the second. Dalton Easton back to pass, scrambling, looking for the open man, finds Chad Ward in the end zone, keeps his toes in bounds for the touchdown 28 10 Bryant. Easton scrambling once again, but CeeLo Sima clobbers him from behind. The ball comes loose. Solomon Liena recovers. That leads to a Red Flash field goal. SFU down 28 13 at the half. Third quarter, same score. Bryant attempting a 20 yard field goal. Goal, but it's blocked. Lorenzo Jerome with the stuff. Daquan Minter runs it back. A penalty negates a few of those yards, but that's okay because Kahari Dixon takes it 71 yards to the house. Just like that, it's 28 20, a one possession game. But Bryant, they just had too much. Two more touchdowns for Bryant in the fourth. They seal the victory 42 27. Kahari Dixon with more than 200 yards of total offense, but the red flash come up short against Bryant. It seemed like the tables had turned with the blocked field goal, but not enough as Bryant comes away with the win. You know, that was a momentum builder for us. We try to build off that and we try to use that momentum, you know, because, you know, go at next drive, we offense got the ball, we scored, you know, we was right there, but then we let up, let them. Score, come back and score again. Offensively picked it up a little bit. Uh, defense, special teams made some big plays, allowed us to get points on the board, uh, which was big. Unfortunately, we just came up a little short. For the first time in school history, the Red Flash did score more than 21 points for the eighth consecutive game, something they'll look to continue next Saturday at Sacred Heart. In Loretto, Ashley Chase, Six Sports.